turun We're here today uh, with all the the good and great of uh, Five Valleys <laughs> to launch Ruskin Mills Smokehouse. So right here on the farm, they're going to be smoking trout from uh, from the fish farms and meat and making uh, all sorts of charcuterie and stuff. And um, I think that's really an exciting contribution to what is already a bountiful and wonderful area that we live in to now have a way of smoking and preserving our own food in such a flavoursome, delicious and natural way is amazing. So yeah, it's a happy day. Um, it's really exciting and um, we're really thankful to the local food programme for providing the funding for it. The students are very excited about it. Um, 108 students, they're aged 16 to 25 and they come from all over the country um, and they have learning disability and um, individual needs. What we're doing is uh, launching our new smokery which is based up near Tippett's Inn, up at Tiltops. Um, and it's going to take produce from our farm, from our fish farm, um, and uh, it's going to create this uh, wonderful resource for people locally. Um, it'll be going to cafes and restaurants, we've already got people really interested. So we've got smoked meat, smoked here, and we've also got some Hobbs House bread. Mm -hmm. And on this plate we've got some smoked mackerel ball event, and smoked mushroom ball event, and some smoked cheese balls. Brilliant. We'll be running the, uh, the smokehouse and sort of producing food for uh, things like the, the, the tippets here and other local uh, restaurants and using uh, pork and vegetable stuff raised on farm here at Ruskin Mill and smoking it and much of that will go back to feeding the stew. The, the plan is, is uh, later on year to expand into being able to sell some because there's two processes. You can either hot smoke or cold smoke, which we can do here. Hot smoking is a quicker process, which is, is if you were, like we'll be doing uh, trout from our own trout farm here and that, that's, uh, you basically cook it as, as you smoke it and that takes about four or six hours. But you can cold smoke things like ham, which take up to two or three days sometimes. So it's a different processes for different. I mean, originally it was a preservation technique, so you, you you salt what you're trying to preserve and you smoke it as well. It lasts much much longer in conjunction. But these days it's really because it tastes good. This is the first time I visited up here. Uh, visited naturally down in, in Ruskin Mill itself, but I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Here and yeah, I, yeah, it's great. It's great. I'm looking forward to going in the smokery. Projects like these are incredibly important to communities and allow people to learn about where their food comes from, as well as the benefits of eating healthily, local. I think it would be fair to say that when our students come to us at Ruskin Mill, we immerse them in process. And by doing that, we um, connect them. We connect them to the land, and we connect them to plants, we connect them to, to animals, we connect them to the whole process all the way through. And while they're working on the farm, they help um, <coughs> with the farrowing of a, of a sow. And then they'll spend some months helping to raise those piglets, and then at some point in that process, those piglets reach weight, and off they go. And the student meets that, and they meet that full on. There's no hiding that process. And that's a really important moment. That's a real crossover moment, because that student then has to make a decision about whether they want to be involved in the next step in being involved in the slaughter and the consuming of, of meat. So that's a very, a very, very special moment. And as an as a animal husbandry tutor here, if I can create a vegetarian out of a the student, then I've done my job very well because they've made a moral decision about where they want to stand in life. But also, if they decide that they're still want to be involved in the meat-eating process, they can take that further. They can come into this smokehouse and they can add value. They can bring more value to that product and they can see a process further. And in doing that process, they're making yet more connections. Um, I'm here because we're a very small-scale community farm and we're hoping to bring our pigs up here for processing. Um, there's plenty of suppliers of, of raw, fresh pork, but if we can get the value-added aspect of the preservation, then obviously we'll be able to make more for our, for our pigs. We also receive support from Tippett's Inn, who have worked with us on access and who will be using some of the smoke products and charcuterie in their restaurant. And we have been quite passionate in, in sourcing locally. 
um, and and have started to find the partnerships work very well for us as well, and we're honoured to uh, uh, to be able to 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 work with uh, Ruskin Mill. It's a great place, so hopefully it can be very successful. Um, and and those local partnerships. I mean, today the the tippets prepared some some little snacks, which I don't think everybody's had. Uh, Woeful Dame provided some some cheese. Bob's House, thank you very much, and some fantastic bread. Uh, we used trout um, from uh, Ruskin Mill. And so everything, was, everything comes together and is commu um, supports the community, which I think is, is fantastic. Mm. Well, we started the old fleece 20 years ago, come this April. Um, and uh, it just kind of blossomed from there. In fact, Christoph and I didn't really like pubs when we started out. <laughs> Because 20 years ago, it was all smoking, it was very male orientated, and we, were, we liked the idea of a wine bar more. Um, and so that's exactly what we and, and it's And it's a fantastic never ending journey because every time you make another contact, through that you make yet another contact. Um, and something we're trying to do at the moment is to encourage people that produce, when they get over production, to contact us to see if, if, we, can, if we can take it from that off their hands. We're trying to do that with uh, Ruskin Mill, um, and um, and also we're talking to uh, one or two people who have allotments locally, and so you can do the same. Uh, I can't tell you how much of a privilege it is to see this place kind of uh, packed full of opportunity and potential, a real asset to this area. Um, you know, it's got such wonderful produce around here, but to be able to preserve that in such a delicious way that smoking does. Very exciting indeed. And, um, and also preserving the craft of smoking as well is something that I think is just tremendous. So I for one look forward to this smokehouse being mastered and, and then celebrated by eating. So without further ado, as we declare the Ruskin Mill Smokehouse. We've also got a little vegetable shop here nearby and we've got uh, a request into planning permission now to be able to open it to the public on a more permanent basis, which will be fantastic. So we're working closely with Tippets to create a real uh, sort of food hub now up here in this area. Uh, well, the shop was one of the very first elements of the whole Ruskin Mill project going back over 20 years. Mm. It used to be down at, uh, at Ruskin Mill, down in the valley. Uh, and at that point it was open to the public. Um, and it was primarily to move the produce through from the market garden, which is also in the valley, out to the public and the community, um, and, and also into our coffee shop, as it was then. We had a coffee shop down there. Um, but we took a decision a few years ago to relocate up here, because the college has expanded so much, and the site down there was very limited. Um, and when we came up, we, we decided to uh, concentrate on the educational side. And uh, it's a classroom for our, our own students, and they come, come to us uh, and some will do just a basic work experience, some will uh, do BTEC units and then some will go to, up to an MVQ, customer service. Qualifications they can take away when they leave us and, and retail and customer service are very often uh, likely destinations for, for some of our young people. Um, but we are now with the opening of the smokery uh, and the collaboration with the Tippets next door, obviously we're now hoping to open up to the public again, uh, still keep the educational side as strong as ever, but bring in that other element of the public, which is, is, a, is, is a very different experience for the students. So fingers crossed, applications going in, and uh, watch this space, and hopefully we'll be open and advertising and serving the community locally as it's like to smoke. Yeah, I've just come from um, filming. We, we've just started selling our bread through Harrods, uh, which is a bit of a coup, so we've just yeah, done something for that. So that, that, that's the great thing about this area. We've got great produce. And it's really, you know, uh, stands uh, alongside the best that this country has to offer. And um, yeah, and you know, it's, some of the best of it is enjoyed locally, and, and plenty goes up to London where it's enjoyed in fine restaurants, and you know, it's world class. So I'm really excited. I, I guess it will take quite a long time to work out how to smoke and get the best from this smoker because you bet these things don't come with manuals you've got to live with them work with them use them um, but then when you give it the time and if your motivation your heart's in the right place and I'm sure the food that comes from this will be extraordinary yeah. so um, well, drink to that. cheers <laughs>